Hi everybody, um, it's JoJo. Um, I'm feel I'm gonna be filming a uh, dessert Christmas inspired mukbang, but I just want to show you the Christmas tree that's behind me. Um, that's gonna be behind us when I'm filming. Look how cute that is. I love that colorful tree. It's like a luminary, colorful. I just got candy canes on it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Um, and then over here, let me just show you close, like, what I'm having. I'm having a little Christmas cupcake, um, some Christmas cookies, these, these sugar cookies with chocolate on them, and then a Reese's Pieces piece of cake. And then I'm having hot tea in my Christmas Mickey mug with honey. Okay, so just so you guys know what I'm having there. Okay. Okay. Alright, so... There it is. I was going to put the tree like near me or in front of me, but I really couldn't find room for it. So I just wanted to show you that in the beginning. <clears throat> so I also have my bottle of water just in case, you know, whatever. So let's get started with this mukbang, honey. I have one of these Christmas PJs. I wore them last year. I forgot what video it was for. I don't know if it was for a Christmas mall haul or something. I don't know. I'm ready to dive in. I just had dinner. I had Shake Shack and I'm ready to have my dessert, girl. So yeah, I have a few little things here. So I don't know what I'm gonna name this, like a Christmas um, dessert inspired mukbang sweet treat, Christmas sweet treat mukbang, I don't know. But yeah, welcome to Santa's sweet shop right now. Okay, <clears throat> I don't even know where to begin. Um, I roll up my sleeves. Lipstick I have on is, is um, I have Red Rum Lip Liner from Jeffree Star, then the liquid lip um, over it is uh, Are You Filming by Jeffree Star. Okay, so. Cupcake. Yes, honey. Oh, everything is like delicious. Let me get this out of the way. Because everything else will be eaten. <clears throat> but that wrapper. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna shake the camera again, I swear to god. Alright. <laughs> so, um, I've been coming down with like a little bit of a cold. I don't know how to what to call it. Um I just have like a sore throat. Oh, it's so... We're gonna get into this mukbang, honey. I love tea. Especially with honey. I get extra sweet, extra honey. I love honey. Yeah, anyways. So, girl. What am I gonna talk about? So I'm filming this the day before Christmas Eve, but I'm gonna upload this tomorrow on Christmas Eve. I already filmed my birthday tag video. I've never done a birthday tag, but I'm going to upload that the day after Christmas. December favorites will be up on Christmas Day. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, we'll start with this because this is going to be... Mmm. I love Reese's and chocolate. Most of these, all these desserts I got to stop and shop. Um... I love dessert. I always have room for dessert, you know what I mean? I don't think I've ever done a dessert inspired me thing yet. Oh my god. So. Oh, I was gonna say. See, I'm turning 30. I'm turning 30 in less than a week. Oh my god. Jesus. It's definitely a whirlwind to think that I'm 30 years old and the past 30 years, a lot has happened. <laughs> I feel like I lived 50 years or 60 years even. Like, I feel like I've lived a long life. <laughs> Just so much shit happened to me. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> um... <laughs> So, I'm going to tell you a little story time within this move brain. It literally just happened today. Um, mm. So, I went inside a clothing store today. Normally, I don't go around in this area. Um, I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but listen, it was a ratchet hoodlum 
ghetto ranked area. It's just not me. I'm sorry. But I wanted to just, I don't know, expand my horizons. It was somewhere in Brooklyn. I wanted to expand my horizons. So I decided to um, go to this clothing store. I'm not even going to name the clothing store because, girl, no one's going to want to know what, what it was. So I walk in and it's just a dirty, filthy clothing store. I mean, it's just, the whole environment was just dirty. It was rank. It was like, ugh, like, ugh, that's not me, honey. So, I, let me just take another bite, girl. Mm. I don't know if I'm going to eat all this. <laughs> Probably will, though. So, I mean, this is around the time, right, to, to indulge yourself. So, anyways, so there was a guy at the front door, you know, greeting everyone at the, at the, in the clothing store. And I just was like, um, so is it, like, busy in here? Like, how long, how busy is it? Is it? He's like, oh, you know, the line's, like, um, 20-something minutes long or whatever to, to get to get your stuff run up. And then he's like, uh, and then I asked him, I said, can I have a mask? Because I didn't have a mask. And she, and then the woman behind the cash shop was like, oh, I have a mask. I was like, oh, thank you. So she gave me a mask. So then all of a sudden he just was like, oh, um, so why are you asking? Like, why do you care how long the wait is? I just was like, oh, no, I just was like wanting to know, like, because there's a long line there. I just wanted to see if I do get something. How long am I going to wait until it gets rung up? He, got, he just was, like, being rude. He just was like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Like, who really cares or something. I just was like, listen, I really don't like your attitude. And he's just like, well, I don't like your goddamn attitude. I said, whoa. I said, calm down. I said, um, I don't understand where this even began. He just was like, um, you messed with the wrong one today, he goes to me. Hold <laughs> on. This came out of nowhere. I know this is not gonna be a holly jolly story time, but none of my story times are holly jolly. So then I go to him. I said, "Oh, really? You're not the." He said, "You're messing with the wrong one." I said, "I don't know what you're talking about." I said, "You know what? You can just go fuck yourself." He goes, "If I could, I would." I said, "Okay." I was like, what's the problem? He goes, well, you didn't come in with a mask. I said, well, listen, like, I have a mask now. She gave me a mask. Like, what's the problem? Like, what's your real beef? Like, what really, what is, what is really ticking you off? He's like, you know what? Just leave the goddamn store. Just leave it. I said, do you think I want to be in here in this dirty-ass, ratchet fucking store? And then he just started screaming, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I think I called him ugly, but I, I might have said, I don't, I don't remember because everything happened so fast. I might have called him ugly. Because <laughs> after I told him, go fuck yourself, I think I said, you're ugly or some shit. And then I was leaving. I wasn't leaving because he was telling me to because, girl, <laughs> anyone tells me, talks to me like that, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to leave just because someone tells me to leave. But I left only because, um... To be honest with you, it was just a really dirty, disgusting store. Like, it was just... Like, I didn't even want to be in there a second longer, honestly. That's just the truth of it. So, I forgot what happened. I think... Before I left, though, I was like, um... So, listen, I want to talk to someone who owns the place. Like, I really want... Because I don't like the way he's speaking to me. He goes, I am... I own this. I, I'm the one... I'm the owner. I said... I started screaming. This is when I started screaming. I don't know. Something... Something that... He, when he said that ticked me off. I don't know why... But something, when he said, oh, I'm the owner, it really ticked me off because I was like, you, you're in charge, you're the manager, and you're talking like this. I was going berserk. I was like, you, you freaking own this place, and you, this is the way you talk. You should get motherfucking fired. I was going off, <laughs> off. And then I just left. When I just left. I saw him in the corner of my while I was leaving. Like, he took out his phone to, I don't know, he was going to record me. I'm like, record me about what? Like, I should be recording you. Like, you're the one who... Girl, if there are cameras in that ranky dang fucking clothing store, they caught all that. They caught all that. I, you know what I mean? Anyways. Mm. Okay, so. 
Other than that, I went food shopping. I got so much stuff for Christmas Eve tomorrow. I got these desserts. Um, Stop and Shop wasn't so bad because I went really late. Um, so it wasn't that crowded. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I went to Stop and Shop. I went food shopping and... It's just going to be very quiet. It's just going to be me and a couple of family members and we're just going to be, you know. Just chilling, cook some food, have some dessert. Maybe watch a Christmas movie, you know. Just just a re usual, usual, you know. It's going to be hard because, you know, it's the first Christmas without my grandma. And Christmas Eve was her holiday. So, I'm going to upload this on Christmas Eve. So, this is, you know, the Christmas Eve was her holiday, like, she always had Christmas Eve, even to her last dying breath, she was like, I'm gonna host Christmas Eve, and she did. Wow. I'm literally, I do have a sweet tooth. Let me put it in the program. Christmas sugar cookies and they're so soft. Oh. I love them. I feel so Disney because I have my Disney Christmas mug and my Disney. This is actually men's, but I think there's a woman's one too. It doesn't really matter. It's unisex. You can customize it. I put Joey. I mean, the customized maybe a few dollars extra. I put Joey, but. I made this like two years ago, I, I got these pajamas, so that was the name I was going by. If it was this year, I would have said Jojo. Oh, I would just put Joby Jojo. <laughs> so that's all. And these cupcakes are so good. So, this vanilla whip, the frost is green, but it's just vanilla buttercream frosting. These are like delicious. Yeah. <laughs> this is a shit. <laughs> so tell me something. Like, have you guys ever gotten into a fight out in public? Um, if you did, how did you react? Like, if you had someone who came at you in some type of way, um, what? How would you react to it? Like, would you scream, curse them out, leave, ignore them? Like, what would you do? I don't know how to act in those type of situations because, you know, I don't, I'm not looking for a fight. Like, that's not why I went into the store. I wasn't looking for, but when something like that happens, and it happens so fast, so it's just like, you never know, like, what can happen. It's just crazy. This one... It's hot chocolate. This cookie. It's supposed to be hot chocolate for us now. It does taste like hot chocolate. I uploaded a photo to on my Instagram. It was made by the Christmas tree in the living room. And, um, I normally have my account set to private, but I finally took it off private. I was like, you know what? I have my private anymore because what's the point? What's the point? I mean, I probably doubt anyone's gonna stalk me or whatever. I mean, what's the point of putting your account on private? Unless you don't want everyone to see certain things. But I don't care. Everything I post, anyone can see it. I really don't care. I have nothing to hide. Some people are very private though. Even on Instagram when they post. Like, people are still private. I don't know. <laughs> These cookies are so good. This is like soft cookie with like chocolate. Like, it looks like a Hershey kiss in the middle. And it is so soft. I love this. Also, do you guys lay out milk and cookies for Santa? Like, if you have, like, a child in the house, like, how do you do that? I don't think any children are watching me, so I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone. But, um, if you do have kids in the house, right, and they still believe in Santa, right, what do you do? Like, do you tell them... 
school. Santa's gonna come. You have to go to bed, and then you take out milk and cookies, and then do you write write a note to them and pretend you're Santa, or do you like take a bite out of the cookie, take a sip, a sip of the milk? I remember my mom. She used to. A couple of years, she would write a note and pretend, but then you can tell from the handwriting. You know, if you know your mother or your father's handwriting, you know that it. I mean, she tried to forge it like a little bit. Like she tried to like make it look like it wasn't her handwriting. You know, she, she would just be like, oh, you've been so good this year. Enjoy the gifts. Merry Christmas, blah, blah, blah. Love Santa. And there would be a bite missing from the cookie, and there would be some milk missing from the glass. Um, you know what I mean. So, yeah, how do you do that? And then, like, what age do you think is appropriate for a kid to stop believing, believing in Santa? I, okay, so... I, okay, let me just... Girl. Okay, so I don't think I ever spoke about this on my channel. So, not only do I believe in Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy, and so it was God knows what age, I don't remember. I was a lot older than most kids, like, I just always, you know, believed, you know? But, not only that, but I also really believe that ogres and mermaids were real. I, oh. The most embarrassing thing was when I was on a school trip and I went to, we went to like this swamp, not a swamp, I don't know what it was, it was like this, I don't even know, it was a forest, they had a swamp in it, it was a school trip. I may have been 10, 11, 12. Shrek just came out, okay? So I had that fresh in my mind. So there was a tour girl, a tour guy was just like, you know, telling us, you know, what the swamp was and the surroundings. And I just was like, so, oh, she goes, what, does anyone have any questions? And this was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. I rose my hand, I raised my hand, I was like, yeah, I have a question. She's like, what is it? I go, where are the ogres? Do the ogres come around at night? Because I don't see any ogres right now. She's like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> She's like, what are you talking about? What ogres? I said, ogres? Like, don't they live in swamps? Like, there should be ogres here. She goes, no. No, there's no such thing as ogres. And I just was like, oh my god. Just kill me now. Just kill me now. Yeah, that was embarrassing. That was real embarrassing. I don't remember what, I mean, I remember when I stopped believing in Santa. I think I did talk about this on my channel. My cousins on Christmas Eve was just like, um, did they ask me, they said, oh, so, so what did your parents get you for Christmas? I said, I don't, I don't know what they, I don't know what they got me, but I don't, I, I think Santa's going to get me whatever. And they were just like, Santa, Santa's not getting you anything. Santa's not real. This is on Christmas Eve. I remember my grandma always celebrated, you know, always had Christmas Eve. So we would go over there for Christmas Eve and my cousins, whatever, we were there. So that's what they told me. I was just like, I don't know about that. <laughs> but then that night, I think it was the same Christmas Eve. Yeah, I was in uh, my room. I was I couldn't sleep, and I heard my mom asking my father. She just was like, um, "So what did you get? Um, like, what did you get Joseph and Michael for um, for Christmas?" And um, he just he was just naming what what he got us whatever what was it um WW it was WWF at that point at that at that time WWF action figures um stickers some type of Pokemon stickers whatever it was so um I woke up the <laughs> I woke up the next day and um everything that said from Santa was what he, I heard him say that he got me, my dad got me the night before. So I said, how could this be from Santa if I heard that this is what you got me last night? I heard the conversation. So, as I just put two together, I was like, yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Santa's not real. Listen, some people still believe, like I had a friend that um, <clears throat> literally she had a son, she had a little kid, but she, but she still believed in Santa legit. So she literally, like, she left out cookies and milk and, um, and whatever for, for Santa. 
the next day, she got this note. Wait, hold on. Oh, how do you have your tea? I love it like, I love Lipton tea, but it's just honey. Lots and lots of honey. Oh, so good. I remember last time I tried to show you guys, like, you only see Mickey and Minnie and Pluto here, but then on the other side there's Donald and Goofy. Anything there? The snow has melted. The snow has melted um, here in New York. Like, there's still snow on the ground, but it's melted. What was I saying? What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Oh. So, yeah, so my friend had... She, so, the next day, she, she saw that the milk and the cookies were eaten or whatever, and then she saw the note, right? From Santa. So, the, the note said something like, um... I forgot what the note said to her, but she just was like, wait, this can't be real, like... She asked her mom, did you write this? Blah, blah, blah. Everyone says, so no, we did not write this. And she's just like, yeah, there was, it was no one's handwriting. It was like this new hair, handwriting she, she didn't recognize. And she's like, I really do believe that was from Santa Claus. Like, I really believe he left me that note. Like, as a sign or something. And I just was like, maybe. I mean, who knows, really. I mean, to be honest with you... Is Santa Claus really real? No, but he is not, he is a fictional character, but he's really not because he's played, he's at, more animated, the Santa Claus that we, we've grown to love. But back in the day, there was a real Saint Nick that would go out and give presents to kids and everyone. Now, on a sleigh, I don't know what he was on, but um, they definitely animated it. They were like, oh, you know, like, He's fat and has a red suit and has these reindeer, you know what I mean? The elves to help make him, like, I don't know when the hell that started. Like, who made that up? <clears throat> it was like, oh, elves helped him. And the, like, who made this shit up? Someone had a good imagination, honestly. Real good imagination. Even the Easter Bunny, like, come on, like, how did that come to pass? How did that come to be, like, an Easter, someone making up that an Easter Bunny comes and delivers Easter eggs and Easter treats on Easter Sunday. Like, who who make this shit up? Like, who can make that shit up? Like, no one can write this shit. Like, I don't know who was in their mind who just decided one day, I'm just gonna say that there's a bunny that comes out Easter. There's a guy named Santa Claus that comes out for Christmas and gives presents. And then it's stuck. Like, everyone believes in now, and now it's like, it's like a holiday staple. Um, yeah, I mean, I, when you think about it, everything started from something like Christmas trees. Who, who thought of having a Christmas tree on Christmas and decorating it for present of the tree? Like, who, who started that tradition? Like, who really did that? And that's when you gotta like really think. Like, when did that all start? You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm gonna go. I know it's like a short, like a shorter move bang than all, but I can't finish this dessert. I just can't. Girl, there's a lot of cookies and, and stuff. I just can't do it. Like, girl, I can't. God forgive me, I can't. I tried, but I can't. What I did eat, though, was delicious. I'm just full. Like, I'm full. Like, I cannot have another bite. Like, I just can't. Well, what do you guys like to eat on Christmas? Like, what desserts do you like to have? Like, you know, people like, like I have candy canes on the tree there. I pick out, I got cherry flavor, but then I also have, like, um... Hershey and mint. Wow. And I went to see the Rockefeller Christmas tree um, a few days ago, so that happened. I, 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 that, I took a picture of that too. I'm put that on um, Instagram. Rockefeller Center is beautiful, like I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, so New Jersey is coming, Real House of New Jersey. Tonight, the Real House of Salt Lake City, a new episode came on, Orange County, which I really don't watch. On my eyes, I have um, Blood Sugar by Jeffree Star. Everything's Jeffree Star. Okay, I'm gonna go. 
I love you guys. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas Eve. Because I'll be up on us Christmas Eve. <clears throat> and I hope um, Santa gives you everything that you want tomorrow. Santa's going to have to wear a mask while he delivers these presents, girl. On Christmas Eve night. On tonight. He's going to have to come down those chimneys with a mask on. So, I love you guys. Nothing else, right? Okay. I've been filming a lot of videos. Everything's going to be uploaded within this week. Okay. Bye.